Australia's Wedgetail Aircraft Modernization Program represents a pivotal investment in the Royal Australian Air Force's capabilities, aimed at ensuring the E-7A Wedgetail Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft remain at the forefront of defense technology. Built on the Boeing 737-700 platform and equipped with the Northrop Grumman multi-role electronically scanned array radar, the Wedgetail has been a cornerstone of Australia's integrated air and missile defense system since its initial delivery in 2009. Operated by No. 2 Squadron at Royal Australian Air Force Base Williamtown near Newcastle, the fleet of six aircraft provides unparalleled situational awareness, airborne command, and control, simultaneously tracking airborne and maritime targets. As of March 2025, the Australian government has committed significant resources to this modernization effort, with a 360 million USD contract awarded to Boeing Defence Australia on March 7, 2025, for technological upgrades, complemented by a 569 million Australian dollars contract for long-term sustainment over the next decade. These investments not only secure the Wedgetail's operational future, but also underscore Australia's strategic priorities in an increasingly volatile Indo-Pacific region, enhancing national security while fostering economic growth. The modernization program builds on a history of phased enhancements under Project Air 577, which began with the acquisition of six aircraft in the early 2000s, overcoming initial delays tied to MESA radar integration to achieve full operational capability by 2012. Earlier efforts, such as Phase 5A, completed in the early 2020s with a $1.1 billion investment, introduced satellite communications, upgraded displays, and civilian airspace compliance features like ADS-B out and TCAS 7.1. The current Phase 6, valued between 2.3 to 3.0 billion Australians, focuses on survivability, signals intelligence, and data capabilities, ensuring interoperability with fifth-generation battle spaces and allies, such as NATO and the United States. The latest $360 million contract targets advanced surveillance, communication, and airspace management systems, while the $569 million sustainment deal secures the fleet's reliability over the next decade. Together, these initiatives reflect a comprehensive strategy to maintain the Wedgetail's edge against modern threats, with upgrades rolling out over the coming years to keep pace with technological and strategic demands. Beyond technical enhancements, the program has significant economic implications, reinforcing Australia's sovereign defense industry. The $569 million contract sustains over 360 existing jobs at Royal Australian Air Force Base Williamtown and creates an additional 140 positions nationwide, including 170 in the NS at Hunter region, alongside roles in Brisbane and Adelaide. This economic boost aligns with the Albanese government's vision of a secure and prosperous future, as articulated by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Defense Richard Marles and Minister for Defense Industry Pat Conroy. Marles has emphasized the Wedgetail's role in regional security, citing its 100% mission success rate in 2016 Middle East operations against ISIS and its 2023-2024 deployment to Europe under Operation Kudu, where it provided early warning against Russian threats amid the Ukraine crisis. Conroy has highlighted the broader impact on the Hunter region's 10,000-strong defense workforce, framing the investment as a dual commitment to national safety and financial security for Australian communities. The strategic implications of the wedge-tail modernization for Australia's security are profound, particularly in the context of the Indo-Pacific's shifting geopolitical landscape. The E-7A's advanced capabilities enable Australia to monitor and respond to threats ranging from missile proliferation to maritime aggression, enhancing deterrence and interoperability with key allies. Its global reputation, evidenced by its adoption by NATO, the US, UK, South Korea, and Turkey as a replacement for aging AWACS systems, positions Australia as a leader in AEW and C technology, amplifying its influence in international defense coalitions. 
The Wedgetail's proven versatility in coalition operations, such as those in the Middle East and Europe, underscores its value in projecting power and safeguarding regional stability. Moreover, the modernization ensures compatibility with emerging fifth-generation systems, a critical factor as Australia integrates assets like the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter into its defense architecture. However, the program also highlights a transitional phase in Australia's defense planning. The 2024 Integrated Investment Program allocates five to seven billion Australian dollars to replace the Wedgetail fleet between 2024 to 25 and 2033-34, with Project AR 7002 Phase 1 initiating scoping studies in 2029. This suggests that while the current modernization secures near-term capability, the Royal Australian Air Force anticipates a next-generation platform by the mid-2030s to address future threats. This dual-track approach, upgrading the existing fleet while planning its eventual replacement, reflects a pragmatic balance between immediate operational needs and long-term strategic foresight. Yet, it also raises questions about resource allocation as sustained investment in the Wedgetail could compete with funding for other critical capabilities such as naval or cyber defenses in an era of budget constraints and rising regional tensions. For Australia's security, the Wedgetail Modernization Program strengthens both deterrence and resilience by maintaining a world-class AEW&C capability the Royal Australian Air Force enhances its ability to detect and counter threats early, a vital advantage in a region marked by China's military expansion and North Korea's missile activities. The program's focus on interoperability ensures seamless coordination with allies, amplifying Australia's role in collective defense frameworks like the AUKUS partnership and the Quad. Economically, the initiative bolsters domestic industry, reducing reliance on foreign supply chains and enhancing sovereign resilience, a key consideration amid global disruptions. However, its success hinges on timely execution and the ability to adapt upgrades to unforeseen technological or geopolitical shifts. If managed effectively, the modernized Wedgetail fleet will remain a linchpin of Australia's defense posture securing its airspace and regional influence well into the next decade. In conclusion, the Australian Wedgetail Aircraft Modernization Program is a multifaceted endeavor that transcends mere technical upgrades, embodying a strategic commitment to national security, economic vitality, and international leadership. By investing $360 million in cutting-edge enhancements and $569 million in long-term sustainment, the Albanese government ensures the E7A Wedgetail's continued relevance in an increasingly contested world. The program's implications extend beyond operational readiness, reinforcing Australia's deterrence posture, fostering alliance cohesion, and supporting a robust defence workforce. As the Royal Australian Air Force prepares for a future replacement under Project AR7002, the modernized Wedgetail stands as a bridge between present capabilities and next-generation aspirations, securing Australia's place as a formidable and forward-looking player in global security.